yes uh, so i have started off with utshop's question over here uh, are you going to cover arima model yes we are going to cover arima model utshop as well as the markov process the markov models and uh, as well as the more advanced uh, family of time series models so time series models are actually going to play a very critical role in this particular module yes the other set of uh, other questions please any doubts any questions that you have in mind okay uh okay uh yes yogesh so yogesh has a question over here are we going to do the modeling part on sas or on r so ideally uh yogesh i would be using the sas platform right i would be using the sas platform but there would be a role of excel intermittently over here because a lot of uh var calculation or some of you know, the prediction so once you have obtained your uh say time series equation a lot of analysis is done on the excel as well so over here excel will be playing a more a, a very important role okay so lokesh has a question over here frm certification has some similarity to this yes lokesh uh, so there is a basic difference between frm uh, the frm schedule and the one that we are to offer over here because what frm does is frm would obviously give you an in-depth theoretical understanding of the different sources of risk the banking risk like credit risk uh, market risk operational risk and it will they will give you an in-depth theoretical understanding now the objective with which market risk module has been framed uh, we have a, a slightly different kind of objective I would like to I would love to give you the entire theoretical insight into it as their deep as FRM but for me time is a constant and at the same time I have to also take into account the industry perspective I have to understand the implementation of market risk characteristic of market risk features or market risk uh, you know the main features and characteristic of market risk and how the major models are developed and how are they implemented so i have to take into care not only the theory side of things but as well as the implementation side or uh, the model development as per the industry standards while keeping in mind the regulatory aspect right so you know at a so at a uh, regulatory side from at a regulatory level you have three sources of risk right so credit operational and market and for each you will take uh, you need to keep aside your rw is accord, uh, accordingly and then that that's accumulated at the bank level so i need to under i need to explain not only the theoretical side but also this uh, technical side through which can be how can the models be implemented and how this rw can be calculated so the the theoretical coverage over here would not be as in depth as in frm but it will be uh, slightly it would be somewhere near it and a greater stress would be on the implementation side of things or on the practical side of things yes uh, so to your next question uh, lokesh does fr doing frm certificate would be an added advantage if you want to specif uh, specialize in the risk domain doing an frm certification is always advantageous because it is a global certification right but uh, frm gives you only the theoretical insight into it uh it does not talk about industry standards of model development and or, or i mean and implementation etc so frm is a global certification but this market risk module that we have to offer over here also guides you not only on the theory but also on the uh you know the model implementation the model development side. okay uh okay uh yes uh okay so just a moment yeah so yogesh has a question uh then how much time will it take to complete this module uh yogesh uh it's a 70 hours module right 
so it takes around three and a half to four months to complete this entire module okay so uh, to your question Uchab, will this be in SAS then we need the ETS module yes we would need the ETS module and uh, this would be in the on the SAS platform however uh, intermittently we would also be using the R as well as the Excel platforms as well okay uh, to your question Lokesh uh, will we be getting recordings of all the sessions uh, no by the company policy we share out uh, three recordings a month right now over here the next question that comes out is if you are not getting the recordings how do we prepare so basically there would be substantial study materials that would be shared out to you in forms of uh, documented notes PPTs uh, board works uh, PDF of soft board works as well as uh, extended documented SAS editor windows right so uh, in case you miss out a session there would be uh, okay so basically now if you miss out on a session there would be uh, three recordings that would be shared out to you uh, in case of a miss session a month three sessions a month right however in case I feel that there has been a lot of stuff that has been done which requires you to go through the recordings then on special recommendations you will get recordings as and when needed but as a rule in case you in case of missed sessions you can subscribe up to three recordings a month okay now coming to your question Lokesh once again so Lokesh's question is if I have to choose between credit risk module and market risk module then which one will you recommend uh, first of all uh, I would not recommend anything right so the module that you would choose would solely be decided by your interest and by the objective with which you want to move your career so the way you see your career path now if you have a if you do not have a lot of interest into core finance then i would not suggest market risk module for you if you are more inclined to the lending processes and understand lending processes and statistical models development coding automation processes I would suggest I mean then you should look for a CRM on the other hand if you have a uh, interest into niche finance your niche finance theory as well as uh, niche finance derivations and uh, financial instruments like call options call put options spot forward exchange rates stuff like that then you will have to uh, then you can look towards the market risk module so the module that you choose is absolutely driven by your own interest and with your career and with the objective with which you see your career to evolve right so in that way i cannot recommend anything between credit risk and market risk module as such right rather i would not recommend i mean i would not go into that space of recommending anything so both these two models have been designed or I would say that these two models are very close to my heart because I have been involved since the scratch of these module module model developments of these two modules of uh, conceiving these two modules and putting them getting them live and getting them implemented. Uh, so in that way both these two modules are very close to my heart and I don't stand in a position to get biased among either of them. So. The choice is entirely on the person who wants to make the choice and that is driven entirely by his own interests and by the objectives that his career objectives and the way he wants to see his career evolve. Now from opportunity wise or from financial sides I would say that both these two modules are equally competitive and you have sufficient opportunities in both these domains. Uh, as far as the industry is concerned right however uh, if I compare between the two relatively I believe there is a relatively more uh, a greater lack of market risk professionals than credit risk professionals right so credit risk is a more explored area relative to the market risk module uh, to the market risk area right but uh, that's again the person like the interest career interest of one individual 
uh, the way he would want to see his career. Now, if you want to be into risk, I believe both these two modules are equally good. Now, it's totally up to your choice which one you would be looking forward to. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, so any other questions? Anyone? Okay, so Lokesh has a very tough question for me over here. What's your opinion about the book Credit Risk Analytics by Bart Bezins? Uh, frankly, Lokesh, I have not gone through this book in particular, right? So I would not be able to comment on this at this point of time. Might be I would read that book up and I, may, I, may, I might just roll through the book and then I might get back to you with a meal. But as of now, I don't stand a position to comment on this book. So means mostly my reference book is uh, Nine Siddhaki's Credit Risk Model and Implementation on the scorecarding side. Uh, a few of SAS books, books which have been designed by SAS themselves. And on the regulatory side, it's mostly the Basel documents and the papers around that, the SRF model papers written by some of these uh, Vasishek's own paper, Gordy's 2003 paper, a basis which the Basel 2005 document has been formulated. So mostly those have been, the BCBS documents have been my source of reference. I have not gone through this book in particular. Uh, might I just go through it and revert back to you with a meal later on. Right. Okay. So any other questions? So I am mostly done from my end as far as the model description is concerned. Uh, now, I mean, the house is open for questions. Please feel free to ask your queries. Or in case if uh, you're unable to think of any queries, which is coming uh, right up to you right now, what you can do is you can just write in a mail as things come up to your mind and just draft in a mail for us. Uh, okay, to your question, Yogesh, from when is this new class going to start? This new class is going to start uh, from 26th of November, uh, which is mostly a uh, Saturday or a Sunday. So that's 26th of November. I think it's a Sunday. It will be starting on, 20, on 26th of November uh, 2017. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So, Lokesh has a question. Is there any self paced batch option as well? Uh, are you talking about, are you referring to a one on one kind of a batch, Lokesh? Then, uh, could you just explain this uh, terminology self paced batch? Uh, no, uh, Lokesh, uh, there are no recorded video options. The classes are held live, like the way you are seeing right now, right? And it's demonstrated live over whiteboards, uh, SAS editor windows. The codings are described live, right? And hence, uh, to ensure a one-to-one -one kind of uh, interaction with the trainer, but uh, we do not provide any recorded video options as of now. So might be later down the line, we might create such a, uh, such an, you know, such an ambience of recorded videos, but as of now, we do not have it. Okay.
uh, Arihant, uh, Rohit, any questions? I think Rohit has dropped off. Uh, Arihant, any questions? Uh, Ajaz, Arihant, anyone who shop? Yogesh. Okay, okay, great. Thank you, Uchab. Thank you for your confirmation. Thanks, Yogesh. Thank you for your confirmation as well. So, uh, adjust uh, the duration and the timing of the module. Uh, so, basically, duration uh, is around three and a half to four months, right? It's 70 hours, it's a typical 70 hours module. But uh, depending on, you know, it might stretch up a plus minus two weeks. Uh, take it around three and a half to four months of a time. And uh, the time schedule that we have had over here, that we uh, have decided over here, is to be around. Uh, we have placed it around uh, two to four thirty p.m. IST on Saturdays and Sundays. However, I do understand you are operating from the Middle East, right? In that case, uh, I really I had received your mail as as we discussed over the mail address that. Uh, like putting on a uh, putting the classes around a Friday would become a really big challenge because many of the professionals who would be doing the classes would be I you know aligned to the Indian standard time. However, what I can do is if you can provide me a uh, working your working hours on Saturdays and on Sundays especially because Saturdays I think it would be good since it's a common weekend between Middle East and I uh, and India. So. Uh, for your Sunday's classes, so based on that, we can actually work around some time slots. So might be uh, one of my experiences have been to schedule middle uh, like class align Middle East classes at around 8.30 p.m. IST on Saturdays and Sundays. So uh, like on Sundays, uh, professionals are, can attend around at that time. So if you could just give me a set of convenient slots. Uh, yeah, so if you can just uh, give me your convenience slots, I can work around the time accordingly in IST, right? So if just give me your working hours as per IST, I'll try to work around that. But as of now, the schedule time that we have thought of from Dex Labs end is 2.30 p.m. to 2 to 4.30 p.m., right? Uh, but in case, I mean, if you decide to join up as us, please feel free to tell me. I'll try to work around the timing. And then uh, we can actually come down, zero down on the final time slot. Okay, uh, thanks Ajaz, thanks for your uh, observation. Uh, yes, I, and I do understand you are keen to join. And uh, thank you for that. Thank you for the confidence in us. And uh, like if you, uh, so just do send me your favorable time slots and try to work something around that. But I do have my constraints as well, right? So I try to try my best to work around the timing and work around at a common timing possible. Right. So uh, I'm done from my end, guys. Uh, in case there are no queries, uh, I mean, if there are queries, I'll take it up for sure. But 
case there are no queries, then we can close the session. So please come up with your queries. And uh, in case something comes out uh, later, so in case come uh, some something comes out later, right? Uh, please feel free to write in to me at tanmoy at dexlabanalytics.com or you can address your mail to Shubhrajyoti or Vivek and I would be most happy to revert back to you. Uh, but just a heads up, I am on a leave from Friday onwards till Tuesday. So I will be returning back to work on the 1st of November. Uh, in case I am unable to revert back, uh, please do not get worried. I will come back on the 1st and I will surely revert back to everyone. Thank you guys. Uh, I'm done from my end and if you do not have any queries, then we might close the session. Thank you. Thank you Yogesh. Thank you Ajaz. Uh, thank you Arihan. Thanks Rohit. Thanks Utshok. Thanks Lokesh. Thank you everyone for your time. Thank you and it has been great interacting with you guys. You, have, you guys have been a great audience. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Hope to hear back soon from you guys and hope to meet you and have a long relationship from here on. Thank you. Thank you. Good night and have a great week ahead.